The HK gods have shined upon us. The future is now. The 3D MP5 is here and it's glorious! What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another quick episode of PSR. Today, we're not shooting anything. We are talking KF5. Now, why is this a special day? Why is this so amazing? Why am I making a video about it? Well, the KF5 is the project that I did the HK Slap, my music video with the 3D and MP5. That is the KF5 and it has been in beta for a long time and it is finally now released and we're gonna talk about it. But before we get to that, I gotta thank KAK Industry for being the most based parts supplier for anything AR related you could possibly imagine. Also referred to as CAC, it does not mean poop in Dutch, but it does mean quality parts at affordable prices. And they just came out with this cool three position selector switch. And the three positions are safe, semi, semi, and we call it the Doggo Saver 5000. If you want 10% off your order from KAK Industry, I would never suggest using the code PSR at checkout. Tire order, 10% off. Don't do it ever. Horrible. So again, I want to thank KAK for being the best channel sponsor a YouTuber could wish for. All right, so if you're familiar with the HK Slap, my music video about slapping the MP5, ich habe eine MP5 you give a little slap. then you know the KF5, what it looks like. I did a bunch of videos about this particular firearm. It is a roller delay, just like the original HK MP5, except it is plastic. We might say that it's 3D this is one of my favorite firearms that I've ever had the pleasure of putting together. The designer, Ivan, has put in so much time and effort into making this project a reality. I really did not think that I would be downloading MP5s. I thought my days of downloads would just only be MP3s, not MP5s, and it has become a reality. The MP5 is now released on the catalog. I think that's pretty incredible, and I wanted to make this video announcing it because I think I've gotten so many comments on my HK Slap video and all of the videos that YouTube removed of me you know, shooting it at the range and talking about the project itself. So many people in the comments were like, but when can I download it? When can I get it? Well, it's now live on the catalog. So that is really special. These projects are not taken lightly. You know, when you download something, you want it to work. The people at Deterrence Dispensed, the catalog, they're very dedicated to really sorting through the issues and they're really great at providing great documentation for the build process. I can't say anything about the build process, but the documentation is top notch and Ivan in particular does a great job and I really enjoy going through all the manuals and stuff and looking at that stuff from Ivan. It's just, it's great. Ivan prints guns, that is his YouTube. Also, you should check out his Twitter. Uh, he does post frequent videos of him testing new designs. There is a flangeless MP5 design that's coming. It's a KF5 design. So. It's like the KF5, but without these flanges on the handguard. And a lot of people consider those to be not very aesthetically pleasing, which I understand. Uh, and I think Ivan gets that too, but it's more of a functionality 
over form kind of approach that he takes, which I think is better if you're going to be building a firearm. You don't want it to render itself into a grenade or something like that. And the flanges really help that handguard stay on. It's just uh, nicer on the eyes. However, I don't mind the original design of the KF5, which is released today. That's an important thing to keep in mind that there's going to be remixes now because usually the step files are provided. So there probably will be remixes of this going forward. And I probably will build another MP5 as well because mine, I did a binary trigger on mine and it kind of left the barrel mount kind of a little bit droopy and the handguard a little bit droopy because I just put so many rounds through it so quickly. So I probably will build a new one and maybe I'll make it a weird color or like pink or something. But we are excited for the future of the KF5 because it doesn't end here. Now, speaking of the future of the KF5, Ivan is also working on designs for the KF5 in 10 millimeter and 40 Smith & Wesson. So imagine having a MP5 that's in 10 millimeter. It sounds like a Chad move. And I just think it's super exciting that this is finally out almost a year after it started getting developed. And that just goes to show how much hard work and actual serious dedication that Ivan and those that were in the beta put towards developing this design. Because it's no small task to make a reliable design for a 3D gun, much less a MP5 that involves roller delay and all that stuff, and solving a fair amount of problems that come with firearm redesign. So I just want to give a big congrats to Ivan and the folks at the Gatalog, Terrence Dispense, Rocket Chat, all the great work that they did on this project. I wouldn't have been able to make the HK slap without this design, without this gun. And I just thought it would be very important for me to share my gratitude and announce that it's now available to the public. Can't give you a link or anything like that, but I would never go to the catalog and, and, and look for it. That would be horrible. So the KF5 is now publicly released. Go enjoy it and have a little slap. Yes, slap it just like that. I got more content coming up. We've got more Print Ross content. We've got a little side project, Print Demuro, a little overview of a new vehicle that I have. And we've got more videos working on printer reviews, more 3D content is coming. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoy the videos that come forward in the future. And I once again, thank you for watching. I love you all. Have a wonderful afternoon. Bye-bye. <laughs>